will take this work of fiction <laughs> in hand and uh, ripple through it and show yourself that it's an actual book. Yes. And now you may show the audience as well that there's nothing phony about it except, of course, it's authoress. <laughs> you got that? And now, Jim, select any page that you would like and rip it out. No one cares. Let's get rid of that. Uh, all right, Jim, so you will now exercise your free will through several choices. To begin, will you take this piece or this piece? This piece. This piece. Be gone. <laughs> this piece or this piece? That piece. This piece. Will you choose this piece or this piece? That piece. This piece. And now your last one, Jim. The final choice. Will it be this one or this one? This one. So, Jim, if you'd be so good as to open up your hand like so, put your finger on top. No doubt you have all noticed this envelope of puzzlement that has been here <laughs> since you walked in. Inside is a letter that Mr. Jones has actually addressed to all of you. Bosom companions. <laughs> That's a bit over the top. We just met, dear friends. Mr. Jones has brought before you the one person whose dormant psychic abilities were in desperate need of being woke. Jim, you have just randomly selected one word out of 200,000. If we have actually made a psychic connection and the word you choose is throat, then you will all cheer with approval. Yours truly, Felix Jones. So, uh, Jim, would you not be surprised if the word throat was under your finger? I would be very surprised. Do you see the word throat? No. 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 Jim, turn the piece of paper over. Do you see throat now? With an exclamation Exclamation point. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. With an exclamation point. Throat! <laughs>